The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah! Go Cowboys! This, this is the Players' Lounge. Broadcasting live from Dallas Cowboys World Headquarters at the Star. Now your hosts, Barry Church, Danny McRae, and Newey Scruggs. Friday! Friday, 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 Friday. Mm. Football Friday right here on the Players' Lounge, and we have a special guest here on the show to help the two players, Barry Church. Yes, indeed. Danny McRae, free agents of, of the show. The oh, he wasn't Lounge. a free agent, though. But uh, this gentleman's got—he <laughs> got, got first round. He got first round bag off the jump. Bag. First round bag. Got that traded up bag mm. early in the game. And he is a Super Bowl champion. Oh, this is. True. Let us bring in the better LSU Tiger. On Whoa! That's all I can Shots that's fired okay. like that's okay. that? Mo Claiborne. Do we come? With that, with, that, with, that, with, that, with, that, with that resume, I'll take it. But as far as LSU, though, you got a natty? You got a national championship? You got a national championship? Okay, but you do Ooh. have a Super Bowl ring. Mm. As a matter of fact, I just want to take notice. Everybody just look at the watches on the other side of the room. Okay? Look at the top pieces oh. on the other side of the room. Be- bedezzled. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> look, yeah. Look, I'm just, mm. listen, New York, what is, you Because mm. I'm Apple Watch. That's just yeah. class right yeah, there. Just, uh, yeah. Oh, no, that's, that's nice. nice. That's, that's nice. right there, man. The <laughs> leather bands. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, can't, you can't even see you. How many people can pull <laughs> that one off? So, mm. Mo Claiborne, former Dallas Cowboy, joining us. He won a Super Bowl with the Kansas City Chiefs. And when you drove up and we were waiting on your park, I said to Danny, I said, did you tell him to bring the ring? Oh, I forgot. Because he wanted to see the ring, man. And I should have, I should have, man. But y'all, I remember to bring my head, so. I'm here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my memory is, is, is sad. So the next, time, the next time that you come, or you bring it, you going to bring the ring? Yes. Okay, all definitely, right. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> but you, can, you know you got to remind me. That morning. Yeah, you, you in know. church, y'all the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Please bring the ring. Hey, Have man. a good day. That's how it is, though. Thank you guys sometimes. for having me, though. Man. Oh, of course. Thank of course. y'all for having no, me. No doubt, man. No, no doubt. <laughs> Cowboys getting ready to face <laughs> The Denver Broncos. I'm this sorry. is the Players' Lounge brought to you by Hotels.com. We're just going to have some fun here for the next 45 minutes. So the Broncos are a 4-4 football team. They traded away Vaughn Miller. Yesterday, Dak, uh, Dak Prescott spoke uh, to the media. I went to the session. He says he's playing. And he's like, so what What would you say if they wanted you to rest one more week? He's like, no, nah, you got two weeks. You're not getting three. Mm. So mm. he is raring to go, ready to play. So expect him to be out there getting his getting down against the Denver Broncos. So let's go around the table. We'll start with you, Mo, since you are our guest. Your thoughts, number four, back in the south. Um, I feel like that's a good thing. I feel like anytime he's in the, in the game, you know, it's a it's a it's a chance for them to win it, and it's a the chances go up tremendously. You know, of, of, of him being in the game versus him on the sideline coaching, and. I don't know the the severity of the injury or, you know, why he, he felt like he needed to rest it or, you know, is he coming back too soon? Only only time will tell that and only he knows, you know, his body. And I know the organization, you know, once you say you you ready to go, it ain't no question. You know, after that, you you ready pretty much ready to go. And and if he feels up to it, like he can he can contribute and he can be that that Dak Prescott that they need to to um to um to go, to win the game and I feel like Zeke could take a lot of pressure off him, yes. um mm-hmm. in the <laughs> yes. game that man. you know but that's either here or there to see how that goes but um I feel like long as he's he's in the game they has a chance of winning and, and I know if 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 he's clear in his head and he's ready to go I know the team is gonna be behind that you know 100 percent church. Hey man, this game's over with. All right, I mean, look, look. If he, as long as you know, there's no crazy setbacks, and you know they don't get too much. Because I can't see them guys generating significant pressure out there. I mean, you look at who they traded away: Von Miller, who already had, I think, four and a half or maybe five and a half sacks this season. Four and a half. The other guy who was supposed to be, you know, the per, the perennial pass rusher, the other edge presence, Bradley Chubb. He's on IR. 
So, I mean, like to me, their defensive line, it's just not going to be able to get significant pass rush throughout the game. And when you got four out there, and you may not have one of your options, you may not have C.D. Lamb, you may not have Amari Cooper out there, still, even with those factors, I still believe with him in the game, this team is going to blow him out. I just don't see this defense being able to do anything with four out there. And look, I mean, if, if Britt Brown and those guys feel as though he's 100% that he can go out there and still play at this high level, I'm all for it. I mean, I just see an easy dub right now for these uh, for these Cowboys going into Sunday. Yeah, Dak, Dak is back. Cowboys back. You know what I'm saying? We won without him. He sat on the sideline for a minute. I know he's itching to get in there. <laughs> and, uh, like, now he's like, nah, bro. Uh-uh. Like, like I, I told you, we saw him on the hard knocks, and he was, like, he was itching. He was upset when mm-hmm. they pulled him out. So now that he's got this mindset that I'm playing, He's playing, and I'm happy that he's back. This is a good comeback game. Like you said, they don't have the pass rushers that they usually have. Mm, um, out of there. Only thing that could stop us is if we do have a right tackle that's moving to the left tackles. When you're, talking about, when you're talking about pressure that could actually come, we are mixing and matching our offensive line to see what's the best combination that we have for this game. That'll be the only drawback, but like Mo said, Feed Zeke, bro. Yeah, that's that's going to be huge. Feed Zeke. That's we don't want to see him blocking the whole game. I know he, he's great at it. But this is one of those games, like we talk about, when you have like uh, deficiencies or injuries or whatever at a level on offensive line on your quarterback, the best way to, to offset that is to get the running game going. Definitely. And you got a $90 million guy who can carry that. So right. I want to see a lot of Zeke this week. And so, you know, I'm sorry. No, no, and no, you no, know no, just no, being no. on the field when – you got a team over there running the ball, and they running the ball, and you like, man, we can't stop this run. And, and it's all in that that little leakage yards, that that five little six yards of carry, like that little three three yard we got him, but he ended up getting six out of it, you know, and stuff like that. Third can, and two instead of yeah. third and five yeah, and six, exactly. you, know, yeah, you know, it hurts. And he can catch the ball. He he got good hands, you know. So you can. I feel like not only giving it to him, let him pound it, getting him out, let him catch it. And just let them be free. With Fe- it. Feature the guy. Yeah. So now let's 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 take your take build on what you were talking about. Running the ball. So your left side now is going to be Connor Williams, guard, and Terrence Steele at tackle. Right side will be Zach Martin and Lel Collins. I'm imagining there's going to be a whole lot of runs to the right. Now you listen. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Here we go. Downhill. Here we go. Downhill. You, you know what's coming. Stop it. Yep. I mean, you, I mean I, listen, you have to, man. Yeah. You have to. You have to. Uh, you got a lot of money on that right side, okay? Yeah. You got a guy coming back that's itching to get in and prove what he can do, and you can guarantee that Lael is going to be trying to show that that spot is his, yeah. all right? So I'm, I'm going to run behind him, all right? If Denver can't stop it, they're going to see it all night. All night, and just because you get a, a, a you know a minus one one time, which z- rarely mm-hmm. happens to Zeke, I don't care. Run it two more times, all right? Because like Mo and Church and, and we've been talking about those three yard gains where you running through the face mask of the linebacker mm-hmm. or the cornerback is it having hurts. to make that tackle. They not gonna want to do that in the third quarter. They not gonna want. They definitely not gonna want to do that when they down twenty one. They yeah. like, man, this game over, bro. We trying to get back to Denver. Well, not a, well Mo, let me ask you this now: with uh, Collins coming back, you know he missed all of twenty twenty. That was his teammate mm-hmm. too. Man. All of twenty twenty, he was your teammate. Uh, he was in for the one game this week or this season so far against Tampa Bay, and missed that five game stretch with the suspension. Do you see any rust coming out of Lyle when he gets back in this game? Uh, I, I definitely feel like he it's gonna be a couple plays or all, all series. Or it might be rough. <laughs> it, you know what I'm it's, it's definitely gonna be some time that that, that he's gonna need to, to get better. Cause as we all know, you know, playing football and you know being out and working on your own, you can be working your ass off. Yeah. You know, but if you ain't doing those things like getting those game time reps and actually in that atmosphere and all around everything that comes game. with it. You know, it, it plays a big, big, big part in it. No and, you know, and, and no matter how you sitting on the sideline, whether that be suspension or, or anything it may be, you know, and you working, like I said, you could be working, lifting all the weights in the world, running all the hills, doing whatever you're doing. You're going to have some good shape, but it ain't going to be like that game time shape. Mm-hmm. You know, it ain't gonna, it ain't, it ain't going to be the same. So, yes, I feel like it's going to be up to him. It's going gonna, it's gonna to really – be a, a character test for him and and to really show his value on how he can bounce back and when he can get it together, you know. Mm-hmm. And I know the team probably going to give him some time to to do that, you know, and it's going to be on how he takes advantage of it, you know. No doubt. How he really buckles down and, and take those games when he is in the game and getting those reps and, and try to build on it every single day. 
you know, but I I do feel like it can be done. Okay. So you sound like you got his back. A former team, you know, former teammate. I, I'm sure y'all. Oh yeah, I definitely cool, got his like, back. Yeah, you know. I know where he come from, so I I kind of know how he's built. You know, just the things that you have to go through as an athlete. Um, coming from LSU and you know the position that you you are in. Say it with your chest. You where? Know, where? LSU. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, and, uh, and, I'm not saying, and I'm not saying it, it's not like that at other schools. Yeah. You know, I, I know it. They build, they they all build a culture. You mm-hmm. know, it, it's pretty much the same. But you know, I know who our strength coach was. <laughs> you know, oh, Tommy Moffat. I know who he was. And and when when everybody on the team can get that same mindset as him, and he can move a team the way he did, I, I know the way Lyle is built. I know he's not gonna just give up and lay down. You know. Man, it's know what nobody say. He's gonna yeah. try to. He gonna try to come out on on the other side. He gonna go get that spot back. Yeah, he gonna get. He gonna get that spot back. What's that? He still. I hope he don't get. It. <laughs> I hope he don't get. It's gonna be a battle. It's gonna be a battle. <laughs> LSU, LSU in the building. LSU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I listen. Hey, man. Not hey, the eyes. Hey, what you? I just said. Unless you were there. You know, because like, we, uh, we, hey, we cocked and loaded over here, okay? I'm I just still can't lie, because, brother. You know, it's, it's a bad week. I, I can't lie, man. What? I can't lie. I still can't. In my back of my head, man, when they hit you into Survivor with the with the look, I'm going to change the thing of time right now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Expression oh, on that. Yeah. Like, man. I, I can't, he sh- what he I can't shake it, man. He, he, <laughs> said, he said he's going to binge watch. But we did not get a chance to get your get his thoughts on I what happened on this to, I would show. love to partake. I mean, do we have time? Do but, we have to? Yeah, yeah. No, we got time. Mo, have you seen Survivor with Danny McCray? Yes, I, I, I've been keeping up with it. Okay, so so now uh, <laughs> so, so, uh, this is called setting it up. So let me, let me set it up right. for the audience. Marinated. For those who may be new to the podcast, <laughs> Danny McCray is a part of Survivor 41 on CBS. You can catch it every Wednesday at 7. If you miss the episode or any, go to CBS.com. You can just go right there to Survivor. You can catch every episode. So... We reviewed it yesterday because mm-hmm. you were out trying to take care of little man. Little oh, man, way, yeah, he's good. He got okay. you know tested everything negative, so he's all good. Perfect. All so be good. a dad first. So now, Barry, Mo, give us your opinions of what you saw from Wednesday night's episode. Go, go ahead, Mo. I, I want to because you know I might go on a spiel. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so go ahead. He caught bits and pieces. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. tell y'all that like, he ain't seen the whole thing. That's okay. I've, I've caught bits and pieces of it and type of bits and pieces. <laughs> what is going <laughs> on? I'm you ain't watching like this. the show. I'm tell you like this. My wife. My wife, she she loves Survivor, so she she's on it every night. Okay, you know okay. all the lights out, the blinds closed. You know, she, the kids can be running around. She ain't even listening to them. She's locked you know, in. She's <laughs> locked in. You know, she she's just that type of person with Survivor. Period. And when somebody came in that she know, mm-hmm. that it, it changed the whole dynamic. But so I'll come in and out, and I'll be seeing you know certain things, and you know I get to cheering and run around when I see him do something good because I know that they've been winning the past. You know, challenges yeah, and stuff. Slide. They've been on the road, and I know that's been because of him. You know, and when I see, like, a lot of people say, like, survival is different, like, from the NFL. Like, yeah, it's different from the NFL, but it, it start with a mindset. You know what I'm saying? And when you play in the league that's the the highest in the world, like, you can't go no further than this, and you have to go through all the things that you have to go through a, a, a one year Dallas Cowboy training camp, and you make it through that. You ready for the world? Yeah. In my eyes, I agree with you, you know, on that. You ready one. for the world? <laughs> and people see a lot. I see a lot of. I could be going off topic a little bit. But <laughs> nah, you <laughs> straight up. <laughs> but look, I see a lot of. And I see a lot of football players on that show. NFL players, you know, yeah, all type of athletes, that money, you know. Yeah, and you can really tell who you know who prima donnas like when they have that that that. That stank on them from mm-hmm. the league, like what type of player they they could be a prima. That type of stuff really shows in that game, you know. And when you got a guy like Danny that's mm-hmm. high character, like he, he stand on what he mean, and you can see the difference in that show. And no doubt in my mind, from what I've seen, he has led the team, and that 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 mindset of the NFL, like that he can do anything, like it shows on that show. And you know, and for me, I commend him. You know, yeah. I, I really take my hats out to you, brother. My God. You know, for my God. You know, and you represent. He, he was represent. he was worried about me uh, before I left. He was like, man, I don't know how you're going to deal with them people, bro. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I don't know how you're going to deal with them people. A lot of people, different so. walks of life. Man, man. what? A lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> And you got money involved? Yeah. yeah. That ain't, so, ain't like change. So Mo knew you were going on. Uh, yeah, listen, let me tell you. Uh, just so, so, just so for the people who don't know, Mo is the godfather to my daughter, mm-hmm. and I'm the godparent to, to his son. So, And then when Mo came into LSU, 
we were in the same in the same room. So he was a receiver. Then they moved him to DB. So me and Mo have been connected since 2007, 2008. Yeah. And then yeah. he ended up on the Cowboys. Yeah. And me and him connected again on the Cowboys. Yeah. And, and that, that has never stopped. So... Yeah, I mean, what, what, do you, what do you want me to say? <laughs> what do you got them hands at, man? I didn't know you played receiver back then. I wonder you had hands. I'm like, catching I'm everything out the, here. I'm all left in the dark. Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> what, what do you want me to say? Mo on knows. assignment. I'm, was seeing, kinda, I'm, I'm seeing Mo assignment. like every week. Right. <laughs> you know, we playing with the kids. I actually I actually had to ask him to use his swimming pool because I didn't have a pool at the time because I wanted to make sure that I could train and be ready to go out there. And, of course, this dude didn't heat the pool up for me, so but it, it was, just became a hangout mm, session. But it was just what he needed it was like nasty it was cold super cold what what you thought before yeah what do you think about this because i know you got something you know it it was definitely a a roller coaster of a show i'll tell you that right now and and where do we we we're gonna start with the challenge or we start with the breaking the let's start with the breaking the thing forget the the challenge i lost okay yeah i was getting ready (laughs) it ain't even show your ball like man was he struggling a little bit that was tough though this the first challenge y'all lost though that i lost yeah he lost yeah so homegirl she had to break the the vase, the Erica girl, because I mean either way, either that or she gonna get voted off. So she shook it up a little bit. The man, the look on your face, they kept zooming in on you. Yeah, he was just like, just shaking the whole time, shaking his head. I'm glad they went to what was the homeboy's name, Deshaun, Deshaun instead yeah. of coming to you and asking how your thoughts were, because I know you would have been salty. So then they go to the challenge or whatever, and that you had to pick it up all feet, right? It was just, oh, you couldn't use your hands. Couldn't use feet. your hands, all feet. And that, that was tough, man. I was like, I just, well, listen, my, my mind was already gone anyway because I'm sitting there like, hold on, <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Oh, yeah. I know you was soft. Yeah, yeah, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't have won it anyways. It, it don't matter. It was hard. It, it was, was tough. It was difficult. My, my core strength was not up to par <laughs> at that point. It wasn't up to par. So, you know, stuff happens. And so let's just fast forward straight to Tribal Council because that's where it all went down. That's where it all went down. And you just seen so many manipulative people out there just, oh, this is what's going on. So let me go talk to my man. Let me talk yeah. to this person. Get him right. Get him left. Yeah. And, and my, I got to get hats off to who, who, what's the what's the young boy's name? Xander. Xander. I mean, before you go on to that, if you I want if you go back to the middle of the episode, me and Xander sit down to talk. And I'm I'm you know, I'm doing Sopranos on them at this point. Hey, look, let me tell you something. <laughs> it's gonna be one of yours. Or it's going to be one of mine. <laughs> and I didn't expect his response, so I, I had to give him a little shout because he was like, shit, it ain't going to be one of mine. <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> okay, all right, let's figure out how we going to navigate this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah, Xander, yeah, shout out to him, man. He made a hell he of a move. He pulled a hell of a move out there with the fake idol because homegirl thought she had it. Mm. <laughs> Let me ask you yeah. this question, yeah, Xander. <laughs> Let me get that idol up off you, Xander. And he was like, nah, you ain't got it because I don't have it. And it, I mean, it just threw everybody for a loop. But what's crazy is homegirl, uh, Sydney, Sydney yeah. isn't it? She went and pulled, tried to, you know, let me go ahead and take this one in six opportunity to get immunity from the challenge. And it ended up happening. And if she would have just voted her way, she might She's not have got kicked out. She'd still be in the game. And it's crazy how that thing worked because she didn't get the immunity. And once you don't get the immunity, you forfeit your vote. Mm-hmm. So her vote was forfeited, and all she had to do was go in there and vote yeah. whoever she wanted to vote. And it probably wouldn't have went her way, and she would have still been there. But she took a chance. Yeah, she took a risk. You know, it's all about risk in that crazy game. Episode, game. Man, crazy I'm still going to give another shout out to Sid. Me, me, me and Sid are cool. Sid mm-hmm. knows my wife. We've hung out, all that stuff. So Sid's great. Yeah, she's exactly what you see on TV. So uh, yeah. she's in the Yoke Cup of Tea. She ain't, and, and, and we okay. There it so, is. So, shout out to her. Mm. Right. So, so no episode. one knows, no one still knows, like, where you finished in this game. No. Yet. Well, okay. when it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> He's trying, He's trying to give it's my, all over. <laughs> He's trying to give me a trouble. <laughs> Uh, let's let's see if we get Sid on the podcast when it's all over. Hey, hey listen, I'm, I'm, I'm sure she will. That's it. When it's all over. When it's all over. When it's all over. Uh, we need to take a break. When we come back, let's dive into the power rankings for these Cowboys this week as they are 6-1. and one. We have a packed show. Our special guest today, former Dallas Cowboys first-round draft pick and Super Bowl champion, Mo Claiborne, Barry Church, Newey Scruggs, and the ultimate survivor himself, Mr. LSU Tiger. National championship winning LA. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, the natty in there. Let me tell you something. When you talk about that's 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 respect on that. I like that. I'll take that. Mm. I'll take that. Players lounge. He's not gonna let nobody forget that. <laughs> no, no, he won't. No, oh, he yeah, won't. he's a tiger, but he ain't got the natty behind his tiger. Oh. Go to commercial break. Right. Right. Okay, right. 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 Big news. Gary, are you okay? Oh, I'm not Gary anymore. I'm Jackie Flash. What? See, I want the latest smartphone, but the best deals are only for new customers. So to get a new customer deal, I changed my name to Jackie Flash. Okay, but the best smartphone deals at AT&T are for everyone, new and existing customers. 
That's huge. Then guess who's getting a deal? Is it Jackie Flash? Jackie Flash. It's not complicated. At AT&T, our best smartphone deals are for everyone. Restrictions apply. Visit att.com for details. The Cowboys way. Where 16 Hall of Famers and five championships shows us what success looks like. Where turkey is always the second best part of Thanksgiving Day. Where we are all defined by one single thing, the star. Where we as fans know it's our job to keep the tradition going. Bank of America is proud to be the official bank of the Dallas Cowboys and to support the quest of living life the Cowboys way. Copyright 2020, Bank of America Corporation. Hey, Cowboys fans, ready to spice up your next watch party? Bring Yokiero guacamole and be the game day hero. Yokiero means I want, and we know you want, great, fresh-tasting, ready-to-serve guacamole for your home-gating and tailgating events. Made with real avocados and the perfect blend of spices, it will be the star of any party. You can find us at your local Albertsons or Tom Thumb in the deli section. If you can't find it, talk to your store manager and tell them, Yokiero, Yokiero guacamole. It's game day. You know what that means. First, kebab prep. Steak, pepper, onion, steak, pepper, onion. Next, a counterclockwise lap around the room. Now, the lucky grease-stained jersey goes on. And lastly, the dance. You know the one. This is a game day ritual no matter where you are. Whether you're traveling to the game or watching from your favorite vacation spot, book a place to stay on Hotels.com and keep the tradition alive and well. Hotels.com, proud partner of the Dallas Cowboys. Back to the Players' Lounge. Give the gift of the Cowboys this season with the Dallas Cowboys United membership. Preseason, I should say, presented by Globe Life. You're trying to eat this candy. Right? <laughs> oh, that's your excuse for messing up the read. Exactly. Set it a high level. See, gummy bears. It's hard. It's hard to talk with gummy bears in your mouth. It's the ultimate experience for the ultimate Dallas Cowboys fan. Get a little gummy bear. Membership started just $20 and includes <laughs> an exclusive fan pack and VIP member experiences. This is the season. Visit DallasCowboys.com slash United. To get yours today. Now, hey, now, that's, killing them coming that's, that's, that's resilience right there. The way you just fought through it. That's a UNC Pembroke. What's y'all mascot? Braves. Braves. That's a yeah, Braves yeah. right there. Not, not to be mistaken with Atlanta Braves. Who won? By the way, the Mighty Braves are in action at Pembroke this weekend. It's Native American Indian Heritage Day. We are 6-2. No, 6-3, six 6-2 and, three, six and two in the conference. Mm-hmm. Get ready to face the first place team, the Notre Dame Falcons, ranked number eight in the country. Who's they performing? Eight one. <laughs> Who y'all got performing this week, man? This is not homecoming. This is not homecoming. Yeah, but the lies yeah, on that day, man. Man. <laughs> Look, man. Me and my people is back. Dude. My people is back dude. in school. <laughs> we are. We are. We not. Hold, we not being held responsible for the lies performing. Nor the forty two thousand dollars that somebody decided to give this guy. Oh man, y'all out there tripping. I just want to know how he got intro to that bug. Y'all should have talked to church about All that. Smoke was. <laughs> Uh, they needed me to be on the board, right? Say, 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 this is what happened when I'm not on the board. Stuff like this slides through. I'm on the board. I'm shutting that down. New York, <laughs> <City> <laughs> one. New York City, one. New York City, two. Who else you got this weekend, Mo? I couldn't even tell you. Oh, but he can. Who, who y'all got this week? Who's got Batman? Huh? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, right. I need y'all I to win. I, I ain't trying to have Batman the in the best, playoffs. They got the best LSU coach in history, mm. Nick Saban. How you feel about this week? Well, they got us in my, uh, losing by 30, so. Oh. I think it's 28 and a half. I wouldn't even take the bet. That's how I don't feel good about it. Damn. 28 and a half. Make it feel a little bit better. Hey, man. Listen, I'm still what riding. Rec- I, I'm riding high off 2019. What's the record right now? What else? Uh, man. Three and four? Three and five? Something like that? Tom Herman will fix that, though. We no, bro. I'm about to sign Tom Herman over there. Tom Herman. This time, Tom Herman going to take it this time. He going to play LSU. He's going to take it. Take the job this Joe time. Joe Brady. So. Tom Herman. Come on down, Tom Herman. Joe Brady. Let's talk about the Dallas Cowboys, who, by the way, are 6-1. and one. Remember what that record was last year? 6-10. and ten. Mm. So, already, already, already this team, seven games, they are better than what last year. Better than that, uh, unit the was. pistol. 
It's definitely a don't, don't put that all on Andy. <laughs> My man Andy Dalton alone. Because Church thought they was, the pistol was taking him to the playoffs. Uh, okay, pistol man. And, I ain't and, never gonna believe it again. And that uh, game, your boy Garrett Gilbert couldn't come through with. So. What you talking about? Mm-hmm. He gave us an opportunity to win out there. And you, and how, right? clo- how close were you? Just ready to go ahead and fire off some Gil- go get Garrett Gilbert shot. I was in the first close. Quarter. If he wouldn't have threw that rope in there to uh, Sam Wilson, I was close. Mm-hmm. It would have been the next tweet. Double G. Hey, Double G would have let us in there. Yeah. <laughs> but I still believe Double G would have came out there and threw well, for well, just as many. What is Double G doing now? I said, is he in the He's a free agent. He's putting that work in. All right? He's putting that so, work in to so get back. Him and Taylor Smith working out together. All right. yeah, they, they, they were doing that work. They got that work. You just had to. <laughs> What? <laughs> Might have Odell Beckham Jr. Oh, joining him too. Yeah, yeah. he's over there. Dude, older. listen, let me tell you something. When dudes get out, they they go back to work out because they need they know they need to be ready for when they get that call. And Double G gonna be ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Shout out to him. But I'm glad we had Cooper Rush instead of him. All right. So the uh, power rankings have come out. Washington Post has Green Bay one, the Rams two. We got the Cowboys three. They've been holding out. The Washington Post had the Cowboys six last week. They move them up to three. Uh, NFL Network, their power poll, Green Bay 1, Dallas 2, Arizona 3, Buffalo 4. USA Today has the Rams at 1, Green Bay at 2, Rams, uh, no, I actually said Arizona at 3, Tampa Bay 4, then the Cowboys. Throw that list away. What, which one? Who's that? The last one? That's USA Today. Yeah, yeah, yeah throw that away. Yeah. ESPN has Arizona still 1, what? Buffalo, the Rams at 3, Tampa Bay 4, Dallas 5. Five. They, well, that update, they, didn't, they didn't update that yet. Oh, they they had sleep. They about to say, how you going? Who you, was the last one? ESPN. ESPN. Was, okay. They had an Arizona after they lost to a Green, to Bay, a Green Bay team Bay. without his top options out there. It makes no sense. Rick Goslin, Hall of Fame voter, has his power rank. He's got Green Bay 1, Rams 2, Cowboys 3. And I said to him, Cowboys only 3? He said they do not have a signature win. He says the Cowboys need a signature win. Mm. Hey, listen, They're not speaking. I, I, yeah, I, they got, I think they got quality wins. I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen. What, what, last week. See all this kind of talk right here. It, 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 it bothers me. Is it, 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 it makes let me. Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> what gets under your skin, yeah. man? Let Come us on. know. Come on, young man. <laughs> it make, it makes me feel like, like this type of stuff play too much into just the game to me. Just the game that's played on the field. This type of stuff, they like, play too much in that. Like I don't know if it, it like. I can see it in my head, but I don't know if I can really. I can't really explain it to you. But the feeling, we can hear all that you, church. It just gives <laughs> up the rapper it, chewing it, on the. I just like you know <laughs> these mics are powerful. They, they, they. It, I, I'm, I'm gonna say this. It gives me like um like a WWC. WWF type vibe. Right, listen, like, I, and I, 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 I'm gonna say this. For, I'm gonna say this with you. I think it's crazy. And I, <laughs> listen, I think it's. I think it's. I think it's crazy because one, they, they can be so. They can be so different. Yeah. They can be so different, yeah. right? You know what I'm saying? Like one person can have a, an opinion to Arizona is still number one. They just lost last just week lost. to a handicapped team. All right. They don't got. They, they don't have the uh, number one guy, uh, at Devontae Adams, who was the number one receiver in the league at the time. You go out there and you lose. All right. The defense steps up, make a play at the end of the game. So not only did you get beat uh, offensively, but you also got beat defensively. Yep. That team deserves to be ahead of you. All right, my eye test says that we are better than Green Bay. That's just how I feel. Unbiased. Yeah. I, well, I'm trying to be unbiased, but I feel like that offensively and defensively, we have more weapons than Green Bay does. Yeah. I don't think Aaron Rodgers has been playing. Yeah, I like out of his mind. Yeah. You know, I, I, he's playing well. Whatever. He's, he's making sure his team his teams win, but. The running game is really saving them. Mm-hmm. Like Aaron Jones and Dylan, they won that game for that team yeah. uh, uh, against uh, Arizona. <clears throat> playing, still playing good, but I would have them at three. And then one and two is us and the Rams. I have high respect for the Rams. I think they're playing really, really good football. I think their offense, with the addition of Matthew Stafford, has been proven that that's, that is the piece that they were missing. <laughs> Letting Jared Goff was the best thing that they could have done. <laughs> well, they also no. just picked up Von Miller, which is – you know, so us us one and two is great. Tank Lawrence coming back, I think that that is that is where we're at. But if, no way we should be behind uh, Arizona or, or Tampa. You know, they lost two guys. I don't get it. I don't if, understand. If Dallas ain't in your top two list, I mean, you just gotta throw the list away. I mean, because what are we really saying here? I mean, Dallas offensively is so multiple. Nobody, I don't see anybody being able to stop the run and stop the pass. It's like pick your poison. We've been saying it for the past couple weeks. And then if you go defensively, this team is doing such a great job of taking the football all the way that even though they kind of get into that bend but don't break type of defense they're good in the red zone 
and they make timely turnovers to get the ball back to your offense. Number two and third down percentage. Number two and third down percentage. <laughs> so they're getting off the field on the money down. And when you look at other teams like Green Bay, you look at Arizona who can't stop the run, and they don't have a powerful enough run game to, I think, really offset our defense out there. I just don't see a team that really matches up well against us unless you're talking about Tampa Bay, who previously just lost, or the L.A. Rams. So those are the only two teams I can see that can match up against us. But if you're not in the top two as far as Dallas Cowboys, I just think you got to throw that list away, man. So, so guys, here's – really my, my belief on this. Green Bay not going to be number one next week because uh, they're going to no. have a little issue. <laughs> well, Jordan Love started. They're have a little this. issue this week. Right. You know, Aaron Rodgers is not vaccinated, so he's not playing this week, and they, they play uh, your old Super Bowl team, Kansas City, and Kansas City <coughs> needs a W. Okay. It's four and a, four, right? Yeah. What, what do you think is going on game, over it's, there? It's a game at home. Man. They cannot. They have to have this football game. I, I think, me, man, I, I think we got to take in consideration of, you know, all the things that the head coach is going through. Oh, yeah, know, what is, yeah, what is, yeah. I think you really gotta like we look over that type of stuff. Like it's to me, it's it's like beyond football. Don't don't no, not saying that like that that's an excuse into this game. You know, difference of winning and losing. But you know, I I, I honestly feel like you know like that that play that play a big part in into everything. You know, because you know it's it's real life. You know, you know, mainly it's the football, but. You know, my prayers go out to to Coach Reed, Coach Reed. and yep. you know his family. Sure, yep. You know, and, and and everything that that they facing and going through. Cause I, I have a lot of love for that man. You know, just type of person he is. You know, like he's he's a outstanding individual. But you know, on the field, you know, I still feel like when the time really come, you know, I feel like they're gonna be where they need to be, and they they gonna. They gonna be able to really. So you got that faith in, in Mahomes still, that he's still gonna be able to turn it around. I definitely after, after this beginning. Of this I definitely still. I definitely still have that feeling. Mahomes are back. At this point, At this right, point now, right now. Oh man, I I gotta go with Dak. I definitely gotta go with Dak. Well, uh, welcome back, welcome right. back, brother. Welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. We've got to get another break in here. You played on a Super Bowl team with the Chiefs, Mo. So I want you to. When we come back, compare the experience of what happened for you there in winning a championship and what are you seeing from these Cowboys right now. And we'll have our predictions for the game because the Broncos and the Cowboys face each other at Jerry World on Sunday. Barry Church, Mo Claiborne, that's Danny McRae, the ultimate survivor. Make sure you're watching him every Wednesday. Uh, before we hit the break, where can everybody get the Team Danny merch at? Oh, check the website out, Shop Team Danny Merch. M-E-R-C-H dot com or uh, follow me on Instagram at Danny McCray 40 Click the link in the bio. Get your shirts. You'll send it? If huh? you go through Instagram, you'll send it? it go, yeah, the link takes you straight to the website. I'll wait, send wait. it personally. You want okay. me to sign something? Just let me know. Let me <laughs> I need know. that signature let, on yeah, mine. Just, uh, if you want a signature, let me know. I'll sign it. I'll send it to you. And I want to see you wear it on Wednesdays. <laughs> Extra fun. All right, we're taking a break. <laughs> if you have plenty of time to go ahead and go check out the link. This is the Players Lounge brought to you by Hotels.com. Organic pumpkin smoothies are back at Smoothie King. With at least 13 grams of protein each and five options to choose from, it's easy to find a favorite to help you reach your goals. Like the new Keto Champ Pumpkin. Packed with a whopping 23 grams of protein and nine net carbs, it's a quick and nutritious meal on the go. So order online or through the app for pickup or delivery. And power up with pumpkin and protein. Official smoothie of the Dallas Cowboys. Smoothie King, rule the day. Hey, Cowboys fans, ready to spice up your next watch party? Bring Yokiero guacamole and be the game day hero. Yokiero means I want, and we know you want, great, fresh-tasting, ready-to-serve guacamole for your home-gating and tailgating events. Made with real avocados and the perfect blend of spices, it will be the star of any party. You can find us at your local Albertsons or Tom Thumb in the deli section. If you can't find it, talk to your store manager and tell them, Yokiero, Yokiero guacamole. The Cowboys way, where 16 Hall of Famers and five championships shows us what success looks like. Where turkey is always the second best part of Thanksgiving Day. Where we are all defined by one single thing, the star. Where we as fans know it's our job to keep the tradition going. Bank of America is proud to be the official bank of the Dallas Cowboys and to support the quest of living life the Cowboys way. Copyright 2020, Bank of America Corporation. 
Hi, I'm Clint Tillerson with... And I'm Jay Novacek, and we're both with... United, United Ag, Ag and Turf. Turf. The official tractor provider of the Dallas Cowboys. So, if you need a tractor to bale some hay, a mower to cut some grass, or a gator to get some chores done... Get a John Deere at United Ag and Turf. And then, let's get to work. Hey, Jay, that's my line. <laughs> well, not today. Get to work with a John Deere tractor package that's just right for you and your budget. Visit UnitedAgandTurf.com. Back, back to the back. Players' Lounge. Registration for holiday youth camps is now. Oh, there it is. Don't miss the Dallas Cowboys Football Academy and Dallas Cowboys Cheerleader Dance Academy camps <coughs> on December 21st at the Star in Frisco and December 22nd at AT&T Stadium. Space is limited, so register today. Come see me. DallasCowboys.com. <laughs> Come see Academy. me. I'll, I'll be out there coaching your kids. Get Come right. see me. Get them right. <laughs> so you can get this survivor experience yeah. for the <laughs> <laughs> at the Dallas Cowboys Youth Camp. There it is. At the Star Frisco, one, huh? December 20. You get it? Yes. The, se- the season will be over then, so you man. you might have questions you want to ask, and I'll be able to answer yeah, them. Man. Sign your kids up, man. I might give you some behind-the-scenes <laughs> footage, but you got to sign up. <laughs> <laughs> sign up and come see me, Not baby. The behind the scenes. <laughs> now, oh, man. I'm not you, but if I were uh. using the Jerry Jones mentality... <laughs> I'd be bringing that Team Danny merch right there, yeah, yeah, yeah. so the parents Post can also, right there, yeah. so the parents can also get the Team Danny merch. That's the, I mean, that's the only way. That's, that's the only way you getting your behind the scenes stuff. If you, if you come up with your shirt, that's your, that, that's your entry fee. All right, because you only got your Dallas Cowboys Academy shirt on, then you just a Dallas Cowboys Academy member. Uh, but you're you a Team the, you Danny the merch the scenes, member. Man. I'll take care of you. That's just like being an LSU Tiger and an LSU Tiger with a natty. You're you, you right. No, no. no. <laughs> they don't Danny. care about me up there, man. Danny going to have a tribal council for the kids with the drills. Okay, we're we voting off three of y'all right now for the next drill. Call your mama. Make sure your strategy's right. Make sure your strategy right, is write right. Write your name down. Right <laughs> it's Billy. We vote oh. Billy out. <laughs> We have so many complaints. Oh, <laughs> Parents would be so mad. We're not going to do that mm. to y'all. We're not doing that to your kids, okay? We're just going to mm. teach them a little bit about football. This is the Players' Lounge brought to you by Hotels.com. Our special guest is Mo Claiborne, former Dallas Cowboys first-round draft pick. Went over to the Kansas City Chiefs, picked up a Super Bowl ring, and we have our two free agent safeties, Barry Church, Danny McCray. I'm Newey Scruck. So, Mo, Cowboys 6-1 and one right now. They are playing a lot of young guys, a lot of people making contributions. We saw Cooper Rush come in and, and uh, come off the bench and do an outstanding job in helping the Cowboys win last week. You won a Super Bowl with the Chiefs. When do you start to look at yourself and your team and say, hey, there's something good going on here? Um, I mean, I, I, I feel like they kind of know that right off the bat, you know, during camp. You kind of know what type of team you're going to have, especially during those hard days. You know you know if you're going to have guys when they get in the middle of the season, when it's cold out, everybody got to go go play on the same field. And, you know, and you kind of get that sense then, like, okay, I got a team that's that's ready for that 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 type of, you know, um, position, and they're they going to stand up to it. But I, I feel like I'm going to go a little, a little deeper and a little different from, you know, when you say – the teams are where they at at this time, and you know, be, being able to being able to go to the Super Bowl and 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 not, you know, from the say the question again for me. So I can. When did you know when you were with the Chiefs? Mm-hmm. Okay, there's something special going on here mm-hmm. that, that led to the Super Bowl season. Right. And then, can you compare any of that from what you're seeing from this Cowboy team? I can't. I can't. I can't really say from what I see on the outside, okay. but I, I from what I feel a be the difference. Um, in the teams is, and I'm going to go in the locker room and, you know, just taking care of your players. Like, when I was playing with the Chiefs, you know, um, when we start making that run and, you know, you know you got you got a good team, so you, you start putting that faith in those players as of they know what they got to do. Okay. I'm not going to beat them down. I'm not going to beat their body down all, all through the week. You know, uh, I'm going to give them days here where they're going to have walkthroughs or, you know, we're going to cut this short or do this short or do this different, you know, or we're going to go out and we're going to stretch today with no helmets. Just those, like, little things there, you know, change the mindset in players and make them want to go the extra mile, you know, when it, when it gets. Okay down in those deep times when they feel like, oh, my body good. I done got an extra day of rest out of nowhere or, you know, just things like that. 
I feel like really separate, start to separate teams when they really get tough and they really get to that go time. Like, remember Wade Phillips used to do that with us? Oh, yeah. That, 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 that little mind stuff that yeah. we used to talk about, hey, man, you used to have a start tour with day, both, with, both full pads, right? Mm-hmm. And we felt like Wade was the best coach ever. Mm-hmm. He really believed in us when we got to that second practice. He was like, hey, guys, take, take your pads off. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's we we, worked, we worked really hard today. I really think we're doing a real good job. I'm going to do you guys a favor. Yeah. And then all we of a sudden, you. everybody loved Wade, right? right? It didn't show for us because we were 6-10. Yeah. You know, we went 6-10. <laughs> but yeah, that's the type when, of everyone, when Wade was let go, the players were like, we 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 ride away. What do you yeah, mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was yeah. bad. It was yeah. Yeah. bad. That, you know, we just yeah. it had to happen because we were like well, I think one and six. We would have just performed. I feel like man, them, oh, you know, he said just let us go with no pads. Oh, you know man. what? Today we just gonna go helmets. Yeah. Green Bay man, and Aaron was uh, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. That boy ended the bus. We went up there and got the brakes beat off. Five to three. We came. I was getting PT. So you know I was getting mad. I was getting defensive reps. So you know it was bad on Sunday night football. Yeah, man. It was Sunday. It was cold. Man, you can't do nothing about that beat down yeah. either. It was just if it's a twelve o'clock game, you, you know Wade might have made it. Uncle Wade might have made it, but this was, was on Sunday time. night football. And it was crack, crack. it was just touchdown, touchdown. I'm just like man, I can't we, stop we, it. Ain't nothing like that feeling. No. No. Bro, <laughs> I had I did eight reps of punt. Yeah, it was bad. We were punting all day. It was brutal. And kickoff return all day. That, that's the two that you don't want to be doing for, for the most part it in the game. Like everybody, everybody was slipping around, but their footwork was perfect. Oh, yeah. and they were just, uh, uh, <laughs> we was just like, yeah. Everybody trying to unscrew their cleats. Like, man, <laughs> give me some seven studs. Give me the seven. Man, it was yeah. just, it was a rough, it was a rough and, outing. Man. Yeah, and Uncle Wade got let go. And then uh, after that, Jason Garrett you know, decided to bring three. Jason Garrett decided to bring out his good plays. All right, so you want to get these power rankings? I mean, this, uh, these, these. <laughs> here he go. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Did I lie? Here you go. Did, did I lie? Oh, he ain't talking about that, dude. Did he, I lie? He, he, ain't, uh, he, he ain't talking your, about your that. Boy did, your boy didn't all of a sudden break out some good plays. And <laughs> here, comes, here comes five and three, and I got the job. And then all his buddies on TV, oh, you need to make Jason the head coach. He needs to be the coach. Oh, man. I got no comment on none of that. <laughs> Hide the knives, fellas. Oh, got the man. fight knives. Hide, the, the, hide, oh, hide the fight knives. Wade, <laughs> Wade the quick, blood bro. on them. Let me let me ask you real quick, because you've been on you've been on uh, both sides of this coin. As a team with a first round buy, and you've been with a team that just had no round buys and was just in the playoffs and rolling. Would you rather have that first round buy as a team, or would you just rather keep that momentum going and having those, like say you want a five six game win streak to end the season? Would you rather have that first round buy or keep things going and playing in that wild card divisional and keep it going that way? I definitely rather have that buy. That first, okay. I mm-hmm. mean, because, and I'm 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 speaking off of, you know, I've been that type of guy. I'm, I'm speaking off of it personally because mm-hmm. you know I've been that type of guy where. You know what I'm saying? Injuries have, have always played a part, yeah. you know, of of my career and in, in the season. And I, I feel like anytime I, I got a chance to really get some rest and really get my legs back under me, I, I felt that much more confident in what I was doing. I felt mm-hmm. that much more confident in in, in the team. And and when you when you when you get that responsibility to the guys of, you know, really taking on that response, they know where they at. They're not trying to let this chance you know, pass them mm-hmm. by. Everybody got that same mindset. It's like, 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 really got that mindset. They really believe like we gonna win this game. Like the game was won before it was played. You mm-hmm. know, when when you really see that in guys, and I really got an opportunity to to really see that. You know, like everybody on the same page, yeah. and I feel like it don't matter where you get about or you rather you keep going. You know, but anytime you got a chance to to get your legs back under you and and take a chance to, you know recuperate and, and polish everything up, not not go drill it down their throat like they never done it before, mm-hmm. you know, or go beat them down, you know, something like that. But, you know, just polish up what you already done and – I feel like it's, it should be no problem. I ain't gonna say nothing, but I feel like you you saying you had some coaches uh, that, that was the opposite, <laughs> <laughs> the opposite. Of that. But I ain't, I ain't gonna ask no man. As we as we get ready to wrap up the show, <laughs> here on the players' last, it's prediction time. Okay. Cowboys, Broncos, Dallas is a ten point. Favorite church go. Oh, that was a blowout. I mean, I don't think Denver has anything for us offensively or defensively. Uh, I don't believe in Bridgewater, so I, I got to go. Cowboys thirty-five, Broncos thirteen. 
Ooh, okay. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm close. I think you know. I think I'm gonna double that ten. I'm gonna give us. I'm gonna give us twenty. Okay, forty-one, twenty-one. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's gonna be one of those games. And that last, I'm always gonna say that that last little everybody checked out. Trayvon Diggs out of the game. Prevent. They playing prevent. They score one of them touchdowns. Everybody's trying to get out of there healthy and safe and, and be fine. So forty-one, twenty-one. My Dallas Cowboys. Mm-hmm. Give me thirty-three, twenty. Cowboys win. We're all kind of in agreement here. Cowboys are going to go get their 30-plus at home, and, and I think Denver's going to be able to just kind of you know, scratch some points together here, make it look decent at the end. But the competitive phase of the football game, I expect the Cowboys to, to handle it. Mo, do you have a pick? If you, if you, I definitely, if you don't have to. but you know. I, I definitely got the Cowboys, but I know football is football any given Sunday, and I know you know Minnesota going to come out and lay it out on the line. It's Denver this week. I mean, I mean I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. We already whooped I'm sorry. We, are, we already <laughs> whooped. But we didn't whoop them. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I know they're going to come out. they still an NFL team. They're going to come out, and they're going to give them everything they got. But at the end, I don't know what the score going to be. But got the Cowboys. I got the Cowboys mm-hmm. with that. Okay. okay. And I'll be, I'll be interested to see how did the Broncos back. respond because you've, you've, you've sent a Super Bowl MVP away. <laughs> what, what does that say to everybody? Go to town, right, man. Right, It's yeah. over with. Say no boss. Get, so, your, get your offseason plans ready. Yeah, so I, I, I think that I, I'll, I'll just be surprised to see how they're able to respond after you you, you, you shipped off a Bronco legend. Yeah. You know, Vaughn Miller is going to be in the Bronco Hall of Fame. Yep. I mean, Super Bowl MVP, and you guys basically giving up the season here. So, all right, hey, well, Claiborne, we appreciate you stopping by. Yes, sir. Thank you Players guys for having brought me, to man. Hotels.com. Yep. Gotta have you back, man. Yes, sir. Barry well Church, Danny McCray, I'm Newey Scruggs. We will chat with you on Monday right here on Dallas Cowboys. This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about that?